2015 has been a good year for iOS and Android gaming, and today GameRanks wants to bring you the 10 best free iOS and Android games of 2015. Number 10, Arcane Quest Adventures. Have you ever thought, man, it would be great if there were a D&D style RPG on my phone? Well now, Arcane Quest Adventures, a mobile RPG, brings you that tabletop style gameplay that you have been craving. There's an absolute ton of equipment, weapons, spells, consumable items, and on top of that, 25 levels. Players that love board games, love great graphics and music, and most of all love a challenge need to play Arcane Quest Adventures. Number 9, Stranded Mars 1. As far as Endless Runners go, this is basically exactly what you want. Clearly the aesthetic of the game is about being stranded on Mars. The thing about this game is it's not randomly generated for one, it has levels, so on top of having really carefully crafted mechanics and graphic, the game itself gets even more fun once you get to using a jetpack mechanic. Really if you like platformers or Endless Runners or anything like that, this is a shining example of that style of game. Just don't run out of oxygen. Number 8. Mucho Taco. Essentially you swipe over the tortillas to make more tacos. On top of that you manage taco restaurants, combine salsas, and well throw parties. Honestly it's a ridiculous game. I mean that in the absolute best way. I mean it's an incredibly simple game, but for some reason I find myself playing it for long periods of time. The game was clearly created for short time consumption, and honestly that should just tell you everything about the game itself. Number 7, Blocky Highway. By the title and aesthetic, you might just think this is a Crossy Road style game, but mostly isn't. You're essentially endlessly moving forward on a highway, dodging, avoiding, attacking obstacles, other vehicles, and even taking crazy jumps. The kind of charm that I feel like this game has is the type that old NES games had. It's perfect for both people who didn't grow up in that era, as well as people who enjoyed that kind of game. Number 6, Dungeon Boss is a simple and fast tactical combat game when you lead a team of heroes through, well, dungeons filled with monsters. Essentially you go through the game collecting new heroes, building a team that you can continually bring through battles, and although it's not like you've never played anything like this before, this is an extremely fun, no-nonsense game for people who love old school style RPG battles. Number 5, Order and Chaos 2 Redemption. What we have here is a pretty sweet MMO with an extremely large open world. The PvP is great. You could be an orc, a human, an elf, a mendel, and the all new Kratan race. And there's also five classes, which are Blood Knight, Ranger, Mage, Warrior, and Monk. Thanks to this, the gameplay is incredibly varied, especially for a mobile MMO. And it will be a game that absolutely just soaks up your time. It is so fun. Give it a try. Number 4, Star Wars Uprising. During the time between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens, obviously a lot needs to happen. The game builds itself as a dungeon crawler. The fun thing is you can train your characters with different skills. If you've ever wished for a Star Wars Diablo style game, and I know I'm not personally alone in having wished for such a thing, this is an incredibly satisfying game and will absolutely whet your appetite for Star Wars. Although that being said, you're going to want more Star Wars after you play this. Number 3, As Divine Dios, a JRPG starring a deity that's lost their power. It does go a little bit on the obvious side with the goals of the game, and that is saving the planet. What you get is probably one of the more competent JRPGs in the last three or four years. It's a very pretty game and is absolutely worth the time delving into the story. It's really a fun game. Number 2. Unkilled is a high-octane first-person zombie game filled with massive, ridiculous weapons. The game is a fairly good representation of New York as far as mobile shooters go. It has great graphics, tight controls, and though the premise is ridiculous, really aren't all zombie games premise pretty ridiculous. But ultimately, is it a ton of fun? Is it a great zombie first-person shooter? Oh yes, it definitely is that. And finally, number one, Need for Speed No Limits. Now, if you need evidence that iOS and Android can be completely legitimate gaming platforms, you need to look no further than this amazing looking racer. This game can potentially look basically like last generation's console games. The game itself has a 4.3 on the Google Play Store and a ton of really glowing reviews. Essentially one of the best mobile racing games, period. If you haven't given it a shot, remember this list is entirely made up of free games and Need for Speed No Limits is awesome. So if you played any of these games, if you have, please do us a favor and leave a comment. Tell us your opinion on them. Also, do not forget to subscribe. GameRanks uploads new videos every single day, and the absolute best way 
to see them first is a subscription. And we want to thank you very much for watching this video, and of course we will see you next time here on Game Rings.